All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to create a multiplayer lobby to play with your friends inside of Baldur's Gate 3. So the long and short of it is, make sure you're online on Steam and logged in, and then go down here into the multiplayer menu area where you see this big list of public lobbies, and then hit Create. From here, it's actually a pretty simple process of just clicking a couple options and then inviting people that you might want to have in your group. And then you can go straight into playing your game. So the first thing you want to do is select what difficulty you want to run with. Explorer is easy, balanced is normal, and tactician is hard. Balanced is a perfectly fine level. You can always switch this whenever you want while you're playing the actual game. So like whatever you pick now is not super critical. The number of slots you can set up is just how many people can connect to you. I've got it set up so that it's four by default so I can join and then three of my friends. And then you can set it up so that if random people can uh, join you, if your friends can randomly join you, if it's invite only or if it's closed and you don't want anyone to join you. That would be what you'd probably wanna do if you were doing a single player playthrough and you didn't really want anyone to mess with you. So I think friends only is fine, that way you don't get random people. And then you can determine if it's a LAN connection or if it's direct connections only. And then over here, if you want to invite people to your party before you start it and start doing character creation, you can click on them here to invite someone from your friends list who is currently listed as online. This doesn't really work if your friends are hidden or if your friends are currently logged out, this only shows people who are currently online on your friends list for you to invite to play with. So just keep that in mind when you're setting up these multiplayer lobbies. If you have friends that prefer to be private and prefer to be left alone, that might be an issue, but they can always right click and join off of you in their friends list so you don't have to worry about having to invite them directly either. You have a number of different options. From there, you can click on the launch button and this will take you into the character creation screen and all of the different cinematics. Now, I do want to keep a note in here that if you're playing a random group with random people that you don't know, or maybe one of your friends is a bit of a troll, you yourself, the host of the game, should probably take the background, the Dark Urge, so that nobody else can take it. Why would you do this? Well, the Dark Urge is this evil sort of playthrough that's constantly pestering you to do evil things like kill certain people or do evil acts or violent acts. And your friends or a random person, if they're able to get their hands on this, would then be able to start killing important NPCs and then it would potentially ruin the entire playthrough. So just keep that in mind. And while you're making a character, if that's when your friend jumps on, they're a little bit late to come play a game with you, you can still at any time click on these little plus symbols down here in the lower left hand corner and invite more people to join your lobby. So I hope you find that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. I'm going to do a separate tutorial on how to manage and maintain characters that have connected to your game using Wither's new cabinet of curiosities, which allows you to store other people's characters until they're needed so they're not taking up space when they're not around to play. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.